Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rob Lawton from Trinity Southport, and I'm so grateful to you for, for taking some time out of the busyness of your day to join me for a little bit of a reflection on scripture and hopefully to do a little bit of coloring with me. If you got this video from me by email, then you've already got the coloring sheet we're gonna be working on, but if you came across this video some other way and you would like that coloring sheet, please just send me a message. You can find it, uh, you can reach me rather, at associate at trinitysouthport.org and I'll be only too happy to get that coloring sheet to you. Our Bible story today comes from the Acts of the Apostles. It says, The community of believers was one in heart and mind. None of them would say, This is mine, about any of their possessions but held everything in common. The apostles continued to bear powerful witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and an abundance of grace was at work among them all. There were no needy persons among them. Those who owned properties or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds from the sales, and place them in the care and under the authority of the apostles. Then it was distributed to anyone who was in need. It's a short little reading, but it tells us a lot about the early church, the, the way that the apostles and followers of Jesus lived and worked together after Jesus' death and resurrection and then ascension into heaven. According to the Acts of the Apostles, people in the early church sold their possessions and gave the money to the apostles and leaders so that they could share everything equally. This made sure everyone had enough to live on. This equal sharing of resources showed how people trusted God would care for them and provide what they needed. Living together in unity like this was how the people in the early church were in tune with one another. Sharing what they had also showed what they believed. Jesus came to earth, bringing the good news that God loves everyone and wants everyone to have what they need. I wonder what kinds of things we can share with people who are in need. What might be the things that we could give so that other people who don't have all the resources they need might be able to have them? What other things might we share with one another in the church? Definitely some responsibilities or jobs. We share power in making decisions. We share our joy over good news and our sadness over bad news. I wonder what ways our church is like the early church and in what ways is it a little different? I invite you to pray with me. Dear God, teach us to share what we have with one another so we can be in tune with your desire for everyone to have enough. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Well, thank you for taking just a couple minutes out of the busyness of your day to do a little reflection on scripture with me. I hope that whatever the rest of your day looks like, it's pretty great. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. God bless. Bye.